Ian, let's get into it. Over Isa, one of the most epic cyclocross courses out there. Tell me a bit about it. Yeah, this is, I think, my favorite course on the cycle cross, international cycle cross calendar, let's say. Uh, it has been a World Cup race in the past, but mostly it is known as just this like one off event that's not part of uh, the Dave Vivay series, that's not part of the Super Prestige. And as I said, it hasn't really been a World Cup race in years uh, with Flanders Classics partnering with the UCI to uh, run the UCI World Cups this year and in the years moving forward, a number of courses, uh, Holst for example, have been drawn back into the ECI World Cup, which is pretty awesome for us because we are the broadcaster of the World Cups in uh, the US and Canada. Over IC is a course that's similar to Namur in that it doesn't have any man-made barriers. There are no stairs. There are no barriers to bunny hop over. It is just on this big hillside right outside the town of Overicy, uh, woods, some fields, and lots of technical challenges for the riders. Yeah, mud and roots, you know, this is a course, it doesn't need the man-made technical features because this course, it is, it's just proven to be more than enough for many of the riders, just crashes and crashes on these uh, steep, slippery hillsides. The course is very often quite muddy and I think that we are going to see that uh, once again this weekend we're looking at a lot of rain in the Flemish region of Belgium you know it's January that's to be expected so expect a really sloppy technical messy over ice of course which is going to be great viewing uh, I am completely in agreement there Ian it's one of the better courses out there uh I should say it's also considered a legendary course, the mother of all crosses to the, the Belgian populace and I think uh, increasingly more so cyclocross fans around the world. I mean, it's a race that stands out as, you know, if there are monuments within the world of cyclocross, it is certainly one of the monuments and it's such a big deal that it could attract the biggest stars in the sport without having to be part of a major series of course it helps that for the elite men at least there was this offer of like a 12,000 euro prize if you won over IC three times within five years which Matthew Vanderpool did accomplish back in 2017 which also stands out as I think my, my favorite edition of over IC in recent memory because it freaking snowed <laughs> there was there was snow that they were racing through on this uh, ridiculously hard technical climbing course and also there's there's cobblestones we forgot to mention that yeah it has everything you can want I think that last year actually might be my favorite uh, over I said edition though because of the addition of the dog on course trying to chase down Matthew Vanderpool. Let's just uh, take a look back and remember the uh, the scenes at the 2019 race in Overice. Just riding through this, but look at the early gap. And there is a dog on the course. Hermans is chasing down the dog that is chasing down Pidcock. And uh, we have a new cross star here. Oh, he's got a leash on, but he lost his owner. Going for it right now in third place, uh, somebody's dog. Uh, Bidcock, Herman's through. Uh, Ellie Iserbet, he wants a piece of that. He wants a piece of the champ. He wants a piece of the champ. He's not going to get it. And uh, there, this, this, little, this little boy is uh, having a great time right now, or girl. But uh, someone needs to find their pet and uh, get them off of the course. As we have riders coming through and people chasing dog. This is high drama here in Overisa. The dog is not giving up. Um, still in the top 10. Uh, does not want to let uh, Ertz around. Actually wants a piece of Michael Van Torn out. He stops him right in his tracks. Michael Van Torn, not a fan of Van Torn out at all. Uh, going right after him. Uh, we have a new cross rivalry. It is the cross dog versus Michael Van Tornout. Now going after Tim Merlier. He's a very aggressive dog. He likes to attack. Um, it is absolute chaos. Uh, we will be talking about this all week. Now Vermeer's giving him a go. Uh, Vermeer's a very good sprinter and seems to be putting a little gap on this young, uh, looks like a shepherd mix of some sort. There's, there's the offender. 
This dog is going to jail, or probably just back to its owners. Uh, what a highlight for this young animal. Uh, got some TV time, no sponsors, so um, probably looking for a contract right now. I didn't see any sponsors on the dog, so we have a new cyclocross superstar here in Belgium. Back to the dog. The dog's getting interviewed now. Hopefully we'll get some great dog-related content now. Yes, the dog was actually the winner of the 2019 edition of Over Icy. Uh, according to myself and popular opinion, that clip I think is probably one of our most viral videos of all time. This final round in Over Icy of the World Cup, there is still a lot on the line, at least in the elite men's field. Uh, Wout Van Ert is leading the World Cup series, but Matthew Vanderpoel, who skipped the first edition of the World Cup series, series in Tabor can actually take the lead if he wins the race and what, what finishes third there will be a tie and it will go the tiebreaker will go to the winner of the race so a, a lot on the line here I can't really see somebody slipping in between uh, Matthew Vanderpool and, and Wout Van Aert based on what we've seen so far this year but it is a course that uh, well suits a rider like Tom Pidcock. Uh, Tune Ertz also is a former winner in Over Icy, so uh, it could be some interesting dynamics for the World Cup Series overall.